Hello Craig's Lee community. Today I'm here to share another principal blog with you. I'm really excited to share the story of Cameron Swain. Cameron Swain's one of our wonderful year nine students and he's got an incredible story. Cameron, um, I really want the community to hear your story and what you're doing now as a year nine student. Can you just share with what your passion is and what you're currently doing? Yeah, my passion is uh, motorcycle racing and I so I race on road circuits all around Australia, up and down the coast of, east coast of Australia. Um, but just recently I was racing internationally and I was racing in France, uh, riding in Spain and racing in Portugal as well. And I managed to get a third place finish in Portugal, which is sort of the world uh, championship race for my category and age group. So I was super happy to get that result. Kara, it's phenomenal because that's why I wanted to share your story with the community today. Because for a young person, how old are you? 15. 15. 15 and engaging in across the world in uh, motorcycle racing, yep. you know, road racing yep. across that. Yep. I'd be a bit scared. That risk of, of you know, it's a pretty yep. dangerous sport. How do you feel about it? How's mum feel about that? Yeah, mum and dad, they're always, uh, they get pretty nervous before every time I race pretty much. But, um, and you know, there is the certain, there is a risk of death in the sport, but, you know, it's pretty unlikely that it's going to happen, but, you know, it's high adrenaline. I live for it and um, I love it. So, but, if you're always thinking about that sort of stuff, you're never going to get good results. So, but you know, I yeah. just do my best, and I don't worry about that. So, so how did you get into the sport? Because you know, not everyone would get into that. At your age, 15, not having a license yet. How, how did you get into this sport? I got into it just uh, through my dad at, uh, around when I was seven. I, well, I rode a bike first when I was four years old, and then I actually had a crash and didn't want to ride again until I was yeah, seven years old. But yeah, he got me into dirt bikes because uh, he used to race motocross back in the day. Um, and yeah, that's where it all started and from since then, the rest is his history. Yeah. Um, so you've just been over travelling the world, just got back, third in the world. Not in Australia, not in Queensland, third in the world. Is that an age group? Are you currently in an age group? Yeah, the age group is 14 to 20, I think. Um, but there wasn't many 20 year olds, it was more 14, 15. Uh, 16, 17 yeah. year olds in it. So, uh, part of school for us, you know, part of the passion I have around education is that lifelong learning. But for our young people, just always saying, you know, what's possible? Not, not ever, ever thinking that something's not possible. What's that big dream for you in in road racing? The dream for me is to get to either a championship like MotoGP or World Superbikes, which is both the two highest. Um, uh, championships for motorcycle road racing so that's the world premier class series and yeah if you're racing in there you're among the best in the world on the biggest bikes that reach up to 350 kilometers an hour so uh, that's where I want to get and make a living hopefully out of this sport so um, you know that's something it's going to take you know drive ambition passion you know, but a lot of dedication. Yep. How do you balance that at the moment? Year nine, as you start to move into, you know, the senior years at school, how do you how do you think you're going to balance that importance of schooling? Because I'm sure mum and dad still want you engaged in school, yep. but also that passion that you've got at the moment and at that elite level. How how do you see that uh, working for yourself? Um, well, really, I yeah, I've got to still get the good grades in school, or else I'm not allowed to go and do what I love. But is that um, mum and dad set those expectations? Yeah. Oh good, good mum and dad. <laughs> so, um, but I've got so much dedication for it. I train almost every day, like in terms of fitness. Um, and it's actually, it's important to keep my weight down a lot. So you gotta be on top of the nutrition sort of stuff. And, um, but yeah, um, to get to the top, it's gonna take a lot of uh, dedication, time and effort, but also support from my family and um, all my uh, supporters and sponsors because um, you know it's a pretty expensive sport yeah, yep. um, and you need help from everyone anything you can get everyone um, so is anyone in particular there that's just really supported you along the way so just recently um, Troy Corsa he's a two-time yep. world superbike champion has come on board to help me out as a coach and mentor and he's a super awesome guy and he's also trying to help me find a full-time ride in Europe next year. Okay. So, and if, if that happens, I'd be moving to Europe and 
be one step closer to my dream and yeah, that's because of him at the moment. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds wonderful. You always need those champions, those mentors yep. that really assist you and have had a lived experience of it and can certainly guide you in that right direction. Yep. I'm so excited, Cameron, to see where you go in, in the, the sport of um, road racing uh, for motorcycles. Um, what, what, I know the importance. What, what's bike do you ride at the moment? I ride a Yamaha uh, YZF R300cc. Okay. So that has roughly 40, 42 horsepower and uh, top speed gets to up to, up to around 200 kilometers an hour, yeah. depending on the track. Um, but still a fair way off the big bikes. Yes, yeah, but it's get, where you are at this stage. In, in yeah, you, well, you actually got to be. Um, 18 years old to be able to race the biggest bikes. So, but um, when I'm well now I'm 15, I can, I can move up to the next uh, okay. bike, which is a 600 cc, and they get up to around 270. Yeah, so wow. Okay. It's another another step, but I'm keen to make that yeah. jump and keep making progress. Yeah, great. It's been really great to hear your story, Cameron. You know, I love those unique stories that we've got. The amazing young people that we have at Craigslea State High School. Thank you for sharing today your story. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm sure there's a couple of people at home that you really want to thank around what they've done for you. Can you think of anyone? Oh, really, just my mum and dad, they take out so much time for me and my little sister as well. She comes to all the races to watch me. And, your biggest supporter? <laughs> uh, she doesn't actually like the races too much, she? but she, she comes and she still supports me. And, yeah. um, they're my biggest supporters, my family, but I've also got my sponsors who help out financially and um, I couldn't do it without all those people. Wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing with, with our wonderful Craig's League community your story and I look forward to seeing you, what the great things you'll do in the future. Thanks, Cameron. Thank you. Thanks for having me.